all of them. Okay. So we'll talk about this uh, workflow rules uh, a little later in the course, but you know usually you should not check this on because it triggers uh, you know some certain emails and all those things which will be sent to all the contacts which is not required. Then go to next. Now the only thing that you have to do from here is you have to map the fields. Map the Salesforce fields with the fields on your Excel spreadsheet. Right. So on the left hand side you have all the salesforce.com fields. In the right hand side you have your fields that you are trying to import. You just have to map. You just have to map them and say which data should go into which field. So first screen is for mapping contact fields but we do not have contacts in the data we just have accounts right so we can skip this step go to next this is contact phone and address information but contacts we do not have so we will not map anything here go to next okay this is where we will map the account fees so account name is mapped to the company name website I have mapped phone and fax we need to map then click on next next and say import now click on finish all right Now if you go to accounts, you will get to see those four additional accounts that we created. Click on all accounts, click on go. See this, these are the accounts that I created, right? Accenture, Dell, IBM. Deloitte. Alright, so it's that simple. Just have to have the data into an Excel spreadsheet. Start the import wizard. Select the file. Map the fields. Okay. Nothing needs to be done. Anyone? Any questions? regarding the import thing so after this session your assignment will be to create a small file put five six accounts information there just some dummy data put some dummy data into that and then try to do an import so once the session is over you can get into that assignment all right The next thing that we have here is export. So exporting data, the way in import we have put the data from an Excel spreadsheet to Salesforce, export will do what? It will take out the data from Salesforce to an Excel spreadsheet. Right. So for export again you need to go to setup, 
go to data management and say data export set up data management data export and then you click on you have two options you can do an export now or you can schedule an export so export now is doing an instant export schedule export means sometimes it happens uh, that you want to export data on a defined frequency let's say every week or an every month export so in case you want to export the data or take a data backup on a regular basis then you should go to schedule export if it's a one time thing you can do it export now so exporting the data is again very simple uh, there is not much which needs to be done here you just need to click on export now and uh, select which data you want to export you want to export the leads or the accounts or the opportunities whatever so you can export all the data or you can just select which all tables so these are all tables right leads is a table account that is what i was telling you accounts is a table opportunity is a table right so you can select what data you want to export and you can start your export process let's say i want to export account then start the export okay so once you select account what it would do it would uh, export all the accounts okay all the accounts all the fields of the account and all the records of the account table start the export now what we understand uh, when we do an export we understand that it will help us take the data out of salesforce into an excel format right but it does not give you a download file directly so ideally an export should give me a download file right a csv file or an xls file but it does not give us that fine once you start the export it says your export has been started and you will receive an email after the export is ready to be downloaded so at this point of time your export is not ready to download you will receive an email once you uh, once your export is ready to be downloaded so once it is ready to be downloaded you will receive an email in that email there will be a link by clicking on that link you will that link will redirect you to this page it will bring you back to this page from this page you will have a download link download url you need to click on that url to download the file okay so it's a little uh, you know a lengthy process for the export you click on export it queues the export once export uh, the file is ready to be downloaded you receive an email you click on the link in the email and then that brings you back on the screen and here you will have a download url click on the url and then you will be able to download the file okay now why do you think they have put such a you know long or a little complex process for export what can be the reason for that they wanted to make life difficult for people uh, who are working on it yeah they just we has got it right she says security right see import is something where security is not that much of a matter because you are putting some data into it but export is where you know a company or you know someone can take the data out of your database and since this is on cloud anyone can log in into it from anywhere right it's a web based application right so if they give you a quick download so anyone can download or you get a company set up from anywhere right so for that reason it has a little lengthy process in terms of export and for the same security reason the download url that i'm talking about that will be available here using which you can download that download url will also be available only for 48 hours 